here. This week we are talking about line and shape and we're going to be using both together. So for this project you're going to want a white piece of paper, an eraser and a pencil, definitely some art tool basics, markers, later on we'll need a pen or a skinny sharpie. You could even use a black colored pencil. Anything that's really dark and kind of thin. You don't want anything too thick like a black marker. You want, oh by the way, you want washable markers, which chances are the markers you have will be washable. If they're not, then we will talk about what else you can do. A water cup and a paintbrush. And if you don't have washable markers or a paintbrush and a water cup, you can always use crowns. We're going to be drawing bubbles um, and then using the washable markers to kind of make paint. But if you don't have that, you can always color in your bubbles with crowns. So I have those to the side. So I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way. And we're talking about shapes. And for this one, we're focusing on lines and overlapping shapes. So things that are in front of other shapes. We're going to be drawing a bunch of bubbles all over our paper in different sizes. So we're practicing drawing circles. And we're also talking about things that overlap, so things that are in front of other things. So what you want to do is start filling up your paper, drawing some circles. And you can have some overlap, like maybe I'll have a bubble right here. Let me turn down the lighting. Maybe I'll have a bubble right here, and then behind it, I'll add another one like that. And then you don't have to fill up your entire paper, but you want it pretty filled up. You kind of want it filled with bubbles. Maybe I'll draw one right over here. Maybe I'll draw another big one right in this corner. Maybe I'll draw a big one behind these two. A smaller one in these two. And then one coming out. Maybe a smaller one here to the side. Maybe one behind. Maybe a few small ones right here, like that. So now you can see I still have some room in between, but I filled it up. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 all around my paper. Now, to make these look more like bubbles, I'm going to add highlights onto them. And so for that, it's like a small curved triangle. So I draw a straight line, and then for my bigger bubbles, I draw bigger highlights, so I draw a straight line, and then I draw two curved lines that meet up. Like so. And so I'm gonna go through and draw my highlights on my bubbles. Some might not show, like this one's in the background, so maybe the highlight's like coming out like that. Or maybe it's off the edge so it doesn't need a highlight. But I'm going to go through and add highlights to all of my bubbles. And like I said, it's two curved lines like that. What I'm going to do now that I have all my highlights on my bubbles is I'm going to start outlining these in all different colors. And the ones that are in the front, like these two, I'll outline the whole outline, but obviously this one's behind, so I'll just be getting those side lines because it's behind it. And that's why we need the washable markers because we're going to move around this washable ink using water. So however, you know, colorful or maybe you want to use only two or three colors, that's kind of up to you. I like to use a lot of different colors and then I will go around and go over my pencil lines and kind of add a nice thick line. I'm not coloring it in all the way, but I'm making my line pretty thick like that. Some of them I make a little bit thinner, some of them I make a little bit thicker, but that's what we're doing. Sometimes if I don't want my pencil lines to show, I'll like erase it, but I can still see the faint outline. I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer so you can see. I can still see that outline, but because I erase the lines, it's just going to look a little bit nicer. 
whenever I use my markers. And then I'm going to outline those um, highlights that we have on here too. So I'll go through and I'll outline this one like that. Add a little bit of a thicker outline. Go and erase that so I can add on my highlight. And I'm gonna show you how I do ones that are in the background. So like this one is behind these two bubbles. So I'm not gonna draw through because they're overlapping. If I drew all the way through, it would look like this was in the front, but it's behind these two. So then I go through like that. And I'll get my highlight as well. I'm going to outline these two in front of you, and then we're going to uh, move on to the next step, just so you don't have to watch me the whole time, just because this takes some time. So now I'm going to do this bubble. And like I said, I like to erase my lines just so they don't show as much, but I can still see where I drew them. And I'm making mine really colorful. I'm not picking any, like specific colors to use again and again. I like to do the bubbles in all the different colors. Add on our highlight, and then I'm gonna outline this one, and then I will do the rest and we'll move on to our next step. We use blue, like that. Add on my little highlight. So using my markers, I'm going to go through and get the rest of these, and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so I have went through and outlined all of these. What I'm going to do now is use my water cup and water to start moving this ink around inside these bubbles. As I said earlier, if you don't have washable markers or maybe you don't have a brush, you can always just use crowns or colored pencils to fill in your bubbles. But this way is a whole lot of fun. So I go around the edge first and then I start pulling it in like that. And you can see it's starting to move the ink around and give it that kind of bubbly sort of see-through color to it like that. And then I'll wash off my brush in between colors. Sometimes I like to do like the lighter colors first and then go to the darker colors just to make for sure there's like not any dark ink. Some of the inks you'll see are like easier to spread around than others. Like obviously that orange has been a lot easier than this yellow, but that's kind of a part of art. It's kind of experimentation and seeing what works and what doesn't work and kind of learning a new art skill you can use for other things. I'm gonna show you how I do overlaps. So I like to do the ones on top first. And if you can see, I'm gonna go around that edge. You need to go around the edge because that'll help you pick up all that marker ink that you need to move around. Like that. And then I'll come over here to this blue and I'll do the same thing. Trying to stay out of, um, obviously, my highlight. I wanna try to leave that white inside there. Just going around. If you go around more, you'll see that you pick up more of that marker ink and it can make your bubble darker, which is what I'm doing right now. And then I'll come over here to these purples that I have. And I'll go in behind. You can see it kind of mixed with the blue on accident. Oops. But I'm trying to pick up this purple ink to move it around. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Going around. And then moving it inside that bubble area. So I'm gonna go through and keep working on these bubbles 
dipping my water brush, cleaning it in between, going around the edge with that water, and then pulling it in so I can pull in that marker ink. And that's how we're kind of creating our own paints with this, with this marker ink. I'm gonna get all these painted and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so I have this all done. So now what I will do is I will go put it on the drying rack so it can be all dried for our next step. Like magic, I have one I worked on earlier that is already dried so we can move on to our next step. What you can do is just wait for that to dry and then the next day come to this step. So because we're talking about shape and line, obviously we have all of our shapes in here, practicing circles. In between and all of this white area, I want to add some line design because it looks a little plain. It looks a little open. That's where our pin comes in handy. So there's obviously a lot of different styles of line. I want you to try five different styles of line in between here, but I'll kind of show you what I mean. So I'm going to start out with some straight lines and I'm not going inside the bubbles. I'm just drawing lines around like this in the open spaces. And I'm going to try a bunch of different styles of lines, but I'm kind of filling up this empty space and adding more detail to it. Like that. So you can see I have one, two, three right here. But obviously there's a lot of different styles. You can even experiment with your own sort of lines. If you wanna make, you know, dotted lines or maybe some sort of pattern line. So it's kind of up to you. So maybe over here I'll add some scalloped lines, some bumpy lines like that. And then I'm just going around and filling in all of this empty space with these lines using a pen you can use a thin Sharpie if you have one, maybe a black colored pencil. But I'm just gonna keep going through and filling in this in-between area with different styles of lines. Because if you see, if we change it up, it adds more visual interest than just using the same thing again and again. All right, so I just got done adding in my lines using my pen. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think I have 10 or 11 different styles of lines. I want you guys to try at least five in between your bubbles. I'm excited to see how these come out and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, and I will see you all next time. Bye.